All right, what's up, everybody? So we got NHL 25 official franchise deep doy trailer. This guy's doing this guy, man. You guys know, man, I love NHL. Hey, everyone, this is Gern Sumo, senior game designer for NHL 25. What's up? What's so up, Gern? Talk to you about franchise mode. All right, so let's go. So a few new things going into franchise mode. Okay. From a brand new streamlined hub, box scores, game logs, and split stats, contract clauses, and CBA updates, revamped player and coach conversations, and some community requested tuning changes that we did. Okay, franchise hub. All right, let's start. Let's go. Let's go. I'm, let's Over hear him here, out. We have a brand new streamlined hub. It's a unique change from previous years. The goal here was to make and surface more information for you as users to be able I had to, to move the cam out the way. Possible to make educated decisions. So you'll see a brand new quick links on the left hand side here. Everything that's really important is showing up here. So all that stuff that needs to be done on a more regular basis is there at your fingertips. You'll also notice a bunch of new widgets that are on the screen. You'll have the projected goalie widgets. I'll show you the goalies that are about to start for that game, as well as on that right-hand side, okay. uh, matchup widget showing you how you're matching up against the opponent you're about to play. Okay. As well as the conference standings, division standings, your team leaders from forward points, defense points, all the way down to rookie and goalie wins. And then you have your league leader stats as well. And then on top of that, we've added the ticker that's in the trade deadline mini game at the bottom, which will continuously feed you information as you go from screen. Can I be honest with you? And I gotta say, my mic is on. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, yes, on. Okay, now, because sometimes like I, I like I press mute and like I forget like to turn on whatever. All right. Whenever it comes to like this little this little thing like down below, I love that. Whenever it's, whenever it's like sports games have that, it feels like like it feels like you're actually like in the like not in i mean yeah it feels like you're actually in the game like like where it says like uh like whenever like like you're in like the middle of the season and it says like your guy had like 10 goals or whatever bro it feels like you're actually like being like reported by like sp like sports center like i get that Screen i like that a lot you're able to access the calendar it's like the realism because like you will see that on tv all the various tabs that you would have had access last year in addition to a few new tabs that allow you to talk to players and coaches. Okay. Going into box scores. Ooh, we'll hold up. Bring up all the games. That hey, five to zero is crazy. The NHL. So all hey, the, hey, to the cap. Hey, 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 to the hey. I'm sorry, because we all know. Uh, like, I, listen, I'm a big, big, big Detroit, uh, you know, Red Wings fan. Uh, been, been, you know, since like what, almost like ten years. Um, hey, I isn't this like the Calgary team from like Canada or whatever? Hey, tell these bums to step up their game. I'm just, or I'm just, if you have, I just gotta be honest with you. Tell those bums to step up their game. I told y'all I'm really, I'm really in tune with hockey. Game, not just your own tell team, that lame Calgary team to step up his game. A game and view the box. Yeah, yeah, that bum Calgary team. The events that are from that game, who scored, what penalties were there, as well as. I told y'all I'm really about this hockey stuff. I told y'all. Individual player on both teams. I told you, including the three stars as well so you'll get a really good snapshot of every single game that happens everybody and their game. mama hate the rangers and though feed into that everybody hate the rangers every <laughs> that we got going on we i like them they're cool new game logs and split stats for each individual player so if i go into elias Pettersson here i can check out his full career stats and you'll notice that there's a new filter that's shown here which is full career stats now oh snap game logs and split stats so okay game log i can look at every single game that he has played in this year the oh. standard stats that we track from minutes, shots, goals. Dang, bro. Minutes, they got the files on this dude right here, bro. As well. So you can see how that player is doing against every single team and on a per game basis. In addition, you can also see the split stats. So you can see their last 10 games, their home split, their away oh. split, their division oh, split. Oh, I like this. Conference. And on top of that, their monthly and then their per team stats. So hey, I like this a lot. I like Florida, this. How have they done against Edmonton? Chicago, etc. It's like a and full lastly, background check. Also added an awards tab to the player info, and you'll be able to view any award that that player has won throughout their entire career. Oh. So it's not just the last five years. If you have Alex Ovechkin, could be something. Oh, that bro, or bro, bro. Intense. He got a good All resume. Shows up. On I know this guy actually. For you to play and look at with throughout the course. I mean, of I, mean I, I know, I know who Alex Ovechkin is. I'm be, I know who this guy is. I just I, I just could nev never say his last name. Franchise <laughs> mode. <laughs> I just could never say his last name. One of our biggest fan requests is we added no move, no trade clauses to the game. In addition, oh. we also overhauled our contract negotiation system to fit that in. So now you'll notice when you come into the free agency screen, you'll see an org interest bar. Okay. Every single player has a contract interest bar 
kind of organization in Trist Bar. And if they want too much, uh, we're not accepting it. Whether or not a player will want to sign with your team. So if a player has a very low organization bar, you may need to convince them to actually join your team. Go Man, we're not convincing no bums to join our team. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being completely honest with you. Whenever I have my team, I don't want no bum being like, oh, well, listen, I only join your team if I get $12 million in a bag of Cheetos. Like, no, you're not, bro, you're not joining. What do you mean if? What do you mean if you get it? If I join your team, can I? No, 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 no. When you join our team, you're going to get this. There is no, if I join your team, can I get it? Can I get an extra pair of socks? Like, no, bro. Two bar. No, okay. now you're asking for too much. Like, stop, bro. Target in free agency because it may not Our money's important. You to get the best free agent because they may not like your organization because of the taxes that you have, the market size that you have. We taxing everybody. I'm, let me stop pausing. Your status let me stop. as a contender. Let me stop. Be playing on a championship team and you're Uncle Sam needs his money. I'm now you can offer them other incentives you'll see that you'll see promises on the bottom bag of chips player requests certain players will have requests that they would like to have like playing on the top line power play or playing in the first line and you'll also be able to give out clauses so you'll see that you can give out no movement clauses no trade clauses yo hey 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 no you have to earn your way structures, to the starting lineup full it'll change the number of teams that you can or cannot be traded to so We've added a lot of depth and a lot of fidelity to the contract negotiation engine that wasn't there before. I'll go into a player that doesn't want to sign with my team currently, give you an example of what I mean in terms of you have to persuade that player. Now, Sam Bennett here doesn't want to join my team. You're able to uh, do he's certain a bum actions anyway. we don't need him. to potentially win them over. You can charm them, you can gain some more. But I'm gonna hear what you got to offer. So in this case it did, which is great. Now you can- Bro, see, it, uh, see, and this is what, bro, this whole winning them over stuff, bro, we don't need you. Hey, 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 Sam, hey, Sam. Love you and everything like that, bro, but we don't need you. There is no, oh, uh, well, that's always nice to hear. And hopefully, you know, it's reflecting on the offer. What would you like to start? Like, bro, like, what you think you got? You, you, <laughs> see, people, see, Sam, you think you're funny. See, Sam, I like people like you because people like you think that they're better than they actually are. Sam, there is no, <laughs> that's, I hear that all the time. <laughs> Let's see if it reflects in the offer. Sam, 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 I make the offers. You don't. <laughs> Let, let's 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 keep that in check, Sam. This whole thing where we gotta win them over. No, 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 no. See, all the great players join my team because it's guaranteed a victory. That's why people join my team. People don't join my team because they're like, oh well, I gotta see if I can actually negotiate. I'm trying to see if I can like, you know, get twelve million dollars and some lunch. You know, no, no, no. See, Sam, hey Sam, Sam, let's not act like you know, like you're like you're Sidney Crosby in his prime. Like no, like you're you're not. Okay, yo Sam, yo Sam Bennett, I promise you, bro, I, bro. The, the most I can offer you is a few mil and, and some uncrustables. If you can't take that deal, you're out. I'm just, I'm just now talking about the contract or going to the organization. Talking about some, where would you like to start? Like, bro, you, you so ain't Sidney Crosby. Here, what are you talking the about? Team status and persuade him into wanting to join. But I'm willing to hear you out. Like, bro, you're not nobody. Expectation of preferring to play in a smaller market like Florida. So in this case, it's very yo Sam. You're, do so. it may negative I'm not going to be lot. What they say? I'm not going to lie. Your perspective has been enlightening, and it's made me rethink my. No, 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 no. There is no made me rethink because basically, you basically saying that you wasn't really interested, boy. What are you talking about? What are we, uh, uh, see, you're, you're persuading is really enlightening, and, and and to be honest with you, I'm actually thinking about joining. I'll take the uncrustables. No, no, no. Yo, Sam, kick rocks. Go play hockey at your local like 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 uh like rink, okay, Sam? Like we don't want you here. What are we talking about? It's me. Basically, he think he and he thinks he's a finesser. Like he, you can't finesse a finesser. I'm, I'm being completely honest with you. Can get him to join. I'll, I'll sign you case, just to make you pass out tiles. Like what are we talking about? That's what I'll do. Go up to full. So now I have persuaded him into wanting to potentially join my team, which is huge. So he went from not interested at all to being persuaded into joining my team and now i can go and offer him a contract the first offer that you see here the a five-year contract player wants, you can go through and select different years they may or may not accept it one bro you trying to be on the team to like the next gta 7 like what's up with you a five-year contract are you are you smoking the devil's lettuce like what are you what are you doing a five-year contract would be <laughs> would be nice
What? Five years? Sidney Crosby, he's not even signed on for five years. I got I got him because of luck. I, I he's on the team for three. And we gave him fifty million. What, what do you five years? What do you I Oh I get it now. After you retire after two years, you still wanna be along. I mean, yeah, you can do that. Oh no, you you don't mean that? Oh you oh you mean you wanna be on the ice for five years for my team. Uh oh. On your deal. So if you do select one year or two years, they may say, I'm not interested in that and just end the conversation there. But if you go into the four years, they will let you go in and start negotiating. So negotiate will try to make. Hell no. Seven million. He's smoking devil's lettuce. Seven million dollars per season. You don't deserve that. What are we talking about? Man, bro, no, bro, no. $7 million per season, bro? Who do you think you are, bro? You're not mulking. What are you talking about, bro? What are you... More team-friendly deal. Is so he the okay? the organization bar, the more likely you can negotiate a player... Oh, no. Salary. Oh, no. Prove the offer if you like. This allows you to add extra money. I won't say no to that. Promises to your contract offer. So if I want to increase the salary here... I can increase it up by a lot or a little, so I'll add $2 million to the salary. But I can also improve the offer further by adding in a clause, so I can give him a full move, no trade, whatever it may be. I'm going to give him a full no move clause. Bro, but he can as like... Well as I'll promise him first line minutes. So he will more than likely now want to sign because I have given him the... I get... Bro, we gave that man $9 million. We just gave him a, a, a plus two... We, bro, we added $2 million to his salary. Bro, we gave him $9 million. That's $45 million for five years for this bum. This is too much finessing going on. See, I promise you, if I, if I was one of these players, bro, I would finesse that. Bro, I'll be robbing the NHL, bro, if I was one of these players, bro. The finessing is crazy. I would have been like, yo, since, you know, since I'm a 95 overall, uh, you know, I really need like $13 million. Mm. Give or take. I also want first line minutes. Yeah, you know I gotta have those. Uh, and if I'm on the bench and the power play strucks, uh, I want to be in with the power play. Um, what else? Uh, hmm. Uh, some uncrustables would be nice. Some some hot Cheetos. Lifetime supply. Like bro, like bro, like I could legit just finesse my way into here. Like it's. Yo, is this Sam Bennett guy? Is he actually that good, or is he, or is he just another guy on skates? Like world, like, you can also table the contract as well. So if you think you've negotiated a deal with the player to the sense, but you want to try out and sign another player just in case, you can table the deal. There is a risk to this. Obviously, if another team steps in and offers a contract to them, they may get taken and may sign with another team. So it's kind of a risk reward on your aspect of it too, whether or not you're willing to take that chance. So. He's an 86 overall talking like this. Wow. In this case, Sam Bennett wow. He's an 86. So good. I gave him a full. He's an 86 overall now, talking so big. Like he one of the big so ones. He's now on my team, so I can literally convince him from not wanting to join my team to joining my team through the power of the conversation. This guy's an 86 so overall talking like he. Addition of no move and no trade clauses. Obviously, when you want to go and trade a player that has a trade clause, you're going to need to figure out what team they can or cannot be traded to. So if we go to Aaron Ekblad here, you'll see he has a he looks familiar. modified no trade clause. And you can go into the new contract info screen that shows you the trade clause, the years that are left on the trade clause, and the teams that can trade that player to. So on the right-hand side, there's a tradable team list. He can be traded to 20 teams, and there's 12 teams that he has a no trade for. So if I go to Anaheim or Boston or Buffalo, he is an eligible player for me to actually nice. on the trade block. If I find okay. a team that he doesn't have a trade clause for, I would need to actually convince Ekblad to waive his no trade clause. So you can go into the proposed trade screen, the, select the player that you want to trade, and it'll automatically have you initiate a conversation with them. And you'll see that I'll have to persuade the player into waiving their no trade clause. It failed, which means I can no longer have Ekblad be eligible to be traded to the Carolina Hurricanes. So the other way to get them to talk about their clauses or their options is to actually go in through the new franchise hub. So if I went into Matthew Kachuk here, hey, hey, I hey, yo, different hey. options to have him potentially waive. What's this guy's name? Change his clause for the year. Uh, like, get him to maybe give me a list of one team, two teams, three teams, or outright. Uh, 
the go table. So I'm going to ask him maybe give me one team that he would want to potentially go for. And in this case, he actually did. So now I can go into Matthew Kachuk's player card and figure out who he actually wants to be traded to. Now you can see that he has a modified no Oh, he's a 92 card. overall. Oh, we might have to keep him. He wants to go to the Montreal Canadiens. So I can now add him to the block for the Montreal Canadiens, and then you'll be able to make a trade. The conversation engine allows you to kind of have a little bit of flexibility and how much you want that player to waive. Okay. Fully waive their claws or to hey, hey, shots. yeah, yeah, hey, because I promise you, like, listen, if I see Sydney cross me on, on a trade block, bro, I'll trade any, bro, I promise you, I swear to you, I'll trade anybody and everybody, bro, hey, I'll trade you to the Russian roulettes, I promise you, bro, you'll never, bro, listen, you'll never touch the N uh, NHL again, I promise you, bro, you're out of here, bro, I, bro, I will sell you for a box of shoes, bro, like, I, I'm, I teams, you, bro. I'm like a merchant whenever it comes to this stuff, bro, to give the player still some you just gotta see the vision up in here. <laughs> Another new feature that we've added is our brand new conversation engine. You've seen a little bit of it in the no move, no trade, but we wanted to make every conversation feel important and have a meaningful impact on your team. So go on. I, I like this though. I like this. I, I like it. I like it. You're complaining about okay, I, I like it. It's now more of a proactive system where you I like are this. assigning players gold or trying to make that player better or try to fit into your system as you need to. If I go yeah. into Orchinski here, you'll notice that there's two options for me to select from season goal or honest play. Each of these uh, has their own subset of items that you'll be able to select through for season goals. This actually influences player development, something that in the past mm. you have used. And so it's like goals for them, okay. Over. Now you will with season goals. So you can select a season goal. You'll have two options of short-term goals. So these are half-season goals. They're short long -term. goals, and they give you less of a reward. Yeah, go long-term. And then we have long-term goals, which allow you to perform a stat challenge, an award challenge, yep. and an X-Factor challenge. These challenges allow you to give a player potentially an X-Factor ability, whether it be a zone or a superstar ability. Award challenges are asking a player to win an award, and by winning that award, they may uh, gain attribute points as well. And then you have stat challenges, which you may ask just that challenge to yeah goals assists or plus minus or block shots and they will gain potential ratings impact onto themselves based off of completing that goal now it isn't that it's a hard line so as long as i'm close he'll get some of that reward to passing but he may not get the full amount so it is really I mean, it is what it is. giving in that sense but you do want to get as close as you possibly can to that marker to help influence that player so in this case, I'll set a goal to have him score 40 assists. And then once that's in there, you'll be able to check out the goal in the morale screen as you sim through a season and look at their stats and see how they're doing. Now that I've assigned a player goal to that player, I can also go into the on ice play and potentially have them change their play style or the position You'll notice oh on the snap right hand side so it, it's screen, like really it's like it's quick okay player has adaptability rating this adaptability rating allows us to control how likely a player will potentially oh. adhere to being able to change to a new playing style. hey if i was a player bro my adaptability would be all the way right here i'm not adapted to nothing i just want to uh win now or a that they play the younger the player it'll actually make it a little bit more easier for that player to be a little bit more malleable and a little bit more easier for them to i mean of course play style or position so an older player will be a little bit more set in their ways and may not be able to switch i mean because like bro older players bro like style, they're like bro who cares as well so in this instance here we're able to look at these two options of play style and position i'll select to change his position it'll give me options to be either straight up change them out of left defense I can move them to right defense as well. These are both persuades and they have different factors that weigh in. So in this case, I want to add a secondary position. The lower his defensive awareness rating, the harder it will be to convince him. If I want I mean, to change his position. I think you should only change the, position, change the position if he's good enough. It will be harder to convince. So. Like if he's a scrub, then no, keep him on the left because he's comfortable on the left. But if he's good enough, then you should change it to the right so he can adapt and stuff like that. Well, players are really good at defense. They probably don't want to move out from defense. But if the player has a lower defensive awareness, you may be able to get them to change to a forward. Here, I'll ask Korczynski to change his position. So in this case, that Persuade failed. In many cases, yeah, I told you. Persuade may or may not work. But you do have the ability to change a player's position and play style. It all has a multitude of different factors that go into it. Again, we really wanted to give you as the user the ability to have more fidelity, more control over the players to fit within the system that you're trying to build.
So in addition, you can also talk to your head coach. You can talk about okay. your preseason or your game plan for the team. And these essentially are buffs to your team that you get for the season. Uh, Whether it be skill training, strength training, skill training, five on five focus, power play. Oh, power play is a good one. Session. So all of these will have different buffs and debuffs. I've selected power play. This will. I like this, bro. I like this. Yeah, I like this a lot. A I can't lie to you. I do like this a lot. So in this case, I got him to adhere to that preseason focus. I can go back in and talk to him also about the, the game plan um, that he has. So we can talk about preferred lines. As he is locked until the regular season. And I'll get into that as well. Ice time locations also locked until the regular season. But this will allow you to... I want the coaching style to be aggressive. You want your team to roll four lines, three lines, top heavy. It allows you to kind of manipulate that and have the best possible situation for your team. So now that we're here in the regular season, I'm now able to chat with my coach. So if I'm in the edit line screen, I can hit the Y button to go into strategies and then bring up the coach card from here. I can go into this meeting availability and then chat with the coach about their game plan. So I can now talk to them about the preferred lines or ice time allocation as that's no longer locked. I can get them to potentially change those things. So in this case, I want him to reorganize or lock players into certain lines. I can now do so. But I'm listening. What's on your mind? To being open to it. If in the instance where it fails, you can still force the coach to go through this flow. You will. Oh, you better. You better. <laughs> I'm the boss. You better. Lose morale as a trade-off, but at the end of the day, you are the GM. <laughs> are the coach, so I love this. To brute force your way through it so in this case i want to look at my forwards and i want to have my line two center be elias Pettersson. so if i go into line two and center i can now lock in elias Pettersson as the center for that line now i can also make his left wing in this instance i'll just put jake debrusque and then if i go into that line screen again you'll notice that when i hit best lines now those players should now get into that slot. You now see Elias Pettersson and Jake DeBrusque in that role. So if I move Pettersson down to the fourth line here and then I re-hit best lines, it will always lock them into that line. So if he gets hurt and comes back into the lineup, it will remember that and put him back into the right spot. So you can lock all your lines exactly how you want it and really help the usability for playing with injuries on so you're able to have your lines always constructed in the way that you want them and the coach will make sure that they do best lines in that manner it is quite a cumbersome thing so this was our way oh, i was enjoying the music the conversation engine to allow you to actually lock in players into those lines community requests Another feature that we added to really help the roster sharing community was the addition of draft picks to the player movement screen. Now you're able to trade five years worth of draft picks in the player movement screen to keep up with the real world as you're waiting for the latest roster update from us. So in this case, five years times, and Edmonton's first round pick to the Buffalo wait, five Stadium, years. And then you'll be able to go in and see that Buffalo has Anaheim and Edmonton's first round pick. And you're able to upload this roster file to roster sharing. And then you'll be able to have others download it with the correct draft picks. And you can then start your franchise mode when the latest trade comes out and you're waiting for the roster update. You'll be able to make the adjustment yourself and then go into franchise mode and start your franchise. That's a big change there, as well as we've added a few more elite potential prospects into the draft. Make the league as you get later into later years. Refresh oh, okay. that who will have the overall be around the same amount as well. So we added a Wait, lot where's my name? I should be number one. We had a lot of fun working on the game, and we can't wait for you to pick up early access on September 27th. That's about it. That was one informational video right there. I do like it. Uh, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I do like the hub a lot. Um, I do like how you have power to like, you know, like change up the deals and like persuade people to like how, you, sorry, not persuade, how you can like finesse some of these players and like playing for you for free and stuff like that. Um, something that I would do to be honest with you, but comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys ever smell? And 